ensure that you detrain so she can hear all those boarding calls. Once again, Spokane, Washington, coming up in just under 15 minutes. Welcome to my 2014 Great Circle Trip from Sacramento to Los Angeles, New Orleans, Chicago, St. Paul, Portland, and back to Sacramento. This video is of my arrival and departure at Spokane. Normally this would happen between 2 and 3 in the morning. When I rode the Empire Builder in 2009, I slept through the action. However, this day, September 26, 2014, the Builder is running 8 to 10 hours late. Without me asking, my car attendant volunteered to clean the rear window, which was filthy. It still got messed up as the trip progressed. Occasionally you will hear a bell ding. That's my iPhone as I am also doing video with it. It dings when you start and stop videoing. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving, Spokane, Washington. Spokane, Washington, now arriving. Okay, and just uh, two cars. Down. If you go to Portland in a sleeper, you're lucky because the Portland sleeper is on the rear of the train while the Seattle sleeping cars are at the head end. At Spokane, the lounge, two coaches, and the rear sleeper are dropped while the front of the train continues to Seattle. Seattle gets the diner and Portland gets the lounge. The lead locomotive is cut off and then backs down to the remaining four cars to proceed to Portland.
Normally, you tell your attendant the night before what you want for breakfast, and they put it on the lounge car for the next morning. However, this day, breakfast was in the diner due to our tardiness. Since arrival at Portland is normally around 9.30 a.m., lunch is not an issue, but this day, they phoned ahead to Pasco, Washington, and ordered Kentucky Fried Chicken for everyone, even the coach passengers. At Sunset Junction, another line goes south toward Pasco and connects with the Union Pacific. This is the junction with the line to Seattle via Wenatchee, which the other section of our train took. <laughs> 